In this video, we are going to upgrade GNS3 client and GNS3 VM to the latest stable version available. Your current configurations and installed appliances will not be affected. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Thank you. We are going to upgrade GNS3 client and GNS3 VM. The GNS3 client and VM must be running the same version. It is recommended to have stable internet connection to avoid errors. First is we are going to upgrade the GNS3 client then we can upgrade the GNS3 VM. In my case, I'm using version 2.2.17. To check the version details, go to help, select about. You can see the current version running. To check the latest version available, open your web browser and enter gns3.com. Again, you need to have an account to download the file even though it's free. You may sign up for your free account or login if you already have an account. During the time of this recording, the latest stable available is version 2.2.21. We are going to upgrade from 2.2.17 to 2.2.21. Let's proceed, go to help, choose check for update. You can see that there's a new version available which is 2.2.21. Click yes to proceed. You can check the install guide. You can see here the supported operating systems and system requirements. But we are going to upgrade so choose upgrade GNS3. Take note, your GNS3 VM version needs to be same version as the GNS3 client. You can check the guide and also the version release notes. Now, go back to download page and click for download. Wait for it to finish downloading the file. While waiting for it to download the file, make sure to close first the GNS3 client and GNS3 VM. We cannot proceed with the upgrade process while the application is currently running. Now, Let's check the downloaded file. Double click on it to install or proceed with the upgrade. Since we will just upgrade the application we just set everything to default. Click on next to proceed. Agree to the license agreement. Click on next. Then next again. Next to proceed with the installation. Installation complete. Click Next. I don't need the SolarWinds tool set so select No then click Next. The option Start GNS3 is already checked to click on Finish the run the application. Again, every time you run the GNS3, wait for the server's summary to change green before you proceed. You can now see the running version which is 2.2.21. Now, that the GNS3 client upgrade was successful, we will now upgrade the GNS3 VM. Let's wait for it to complete the startup then we can proceed. Before upgrading, it is recommend that you snapshot your GNS3 VM in your virtualization software. In case of issue this will allow you to roll back. Take note specially the current version which is 2.2.17, and also the IP address. You will use your keyboard for this process. Press enter to continue. Now, press down arrow to select upgrade then press enter. I assume you already snapshot the VMware, click enter to proceed. From here, you can see the versions available. Since we upgraded the GNS3 client to 2.2.21 then we must select the same version 2.2.21 for this GNS3 VM, again, 
the GNS3 client and GNS3 VM must be in the same version. Press enter to proceed. Process started. It's now downloading packages for the new version via the internet. Now, after download it will extract and install the downloaded files. I will fast forward the video, make sure you won't see any errors during the upgrade process. After completing the update the server will automatically restart. Success! You can now see that the server or VM have been updated to the latest version which is 2.2.21. We can go back to the GNS3 client to verify if they are running the same version which you can see they're both in the same version. Now, let's restart the application and check the appliances and configurations we have done from the previous videos if they are still present. We will close the application then open back again. The GNS3 will takes time to boot depends on your computer specifications, configurations, and installed appliances. We will check the appliances installed. You can see the two devices which we installed from the previous video which is the FortiGate and the Cisco switch. Now, we will check the saved projects. We will first check the project FortiGate. You can see it's still present. Now, we will check the project Cisco. We will run and test the appliances. Great. The Cisco switch runs smoothly, let's do some ping test from both PCs. Ping from PC2 to PC1, success. Ping from PC1 to PC2, success. Well, that's all for today's demonstration. I really hope you liked this video. Stay tuned as we install more appliances into GNS3. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.